Karina and welcome to my channel. I'm sure you guys have watched a five minute crafts video either on Instagram or on Facebook. And I have been binge watching these videos for the longest time ever, but I always wondered if these hacks actually even work. So today I've decided to try out a few of the nail hacks and they also have a bunch of fashion and lifestyle hacks as well. So if you want me to try either of those out, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can get an update every time I upload a new video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here is the first nail hack. obsessed with a French manicure to the point where even for my wedding I had just gotten French tips done because I just love how clean and minimal it looks so I really hope that this hack works. So I'm gonna place the band-aid right at the center of my nail right where the nail outgrows the nail bed and I'm gonna press down the two sides as well. So here comes the fun part. You can just paint your nails however you like. There is no precision necessary. I'm just going to apply a very thin layer of the first coat. Once that dries out, I'm going to apply a second layer as well. Once the nail polish has been dried out completely, I'm just going to pull the band-aid in a horizontal motion. I love how this looks and it looks so nice and clean. I'm just going to go ahead and paint all my other nails as well. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a top coat on all my nails now. I am amazed by how this worked out. This looks so good. Honestly, it looks like I got my nails done professionally. The only downside was that some of the glue was left behind on my nails, but it wasn't a big deal. I removed it with a Q-tip and some nail polish remover. And would I recommend this hack? definitely a yes it's a no-brainer anybody can do this so here is the second nail hack that i'm gonna try i really hope that this hack works because it looks super cute and I don't have a chewing gum wrapper right now, so I thought of using an aluminum foil, but I personally think that that's just gonna move around either while I'm painting my nail or while I'm waiting for it to dry off. So I think I should use something which is a little more sticky. So I have this sticky note right here. So I'm just gonna cut the top part of it, which has the glue on it, and then I'm gonna fold this in half. Now I will cut half a heart on the crease line. And when I open this up, voila, I have a really cute heart right here. Now I'm gonna place this heart at the center of my nail and I'm just gonna press all the edges down so that the nail paint doesn't seep through. Now I'll apply one thin layer of the nail polish and once that dries off, I'll apply the second layer on top of that. I'm carefully removing the sticky note, but I have a feeling this is not gonna work. The edges look so uneven and uh, I just don't think this looks that good. So this was a disaster. This does not look like a heart at all. It looks like a sloppy little circle. The edges are so uneven, but would I recommend this hack? No, I don't think you should try this. If you do try it and if it works for you, do let me know in the comment section below, but maybe it can work if you're using some scotch tape, but yeah, let me know if it works for you. Let's move on to the next one. So this is the third nail hack that I'm gonna try right now. to get rid of all the lipsticks that you're never going to use. So I'm going to use this liquid lipstick by Smashbox. And personally, I don't like red lipsticks, so I might as well use this one for this hat. So now I'm going to apply the lipstick all over my nails. And I'm glad that this liquid lipstick had a brush, which made the application very easy. 
as you can see it's just sliding on very easily and i also recommend that you do use a matte lipstick because if you're going to use a glossy one it's probably just going to slide around the nails so now i'm going to apply a clear top coat to the nail and i want to be very careful with this because i have a feeling if i do long brush strokes it's probably going to slide the lipstick around the nail as well I absolutely love how this looks. I'm just gonna go ahead and do another nail to see if it actually works. Okay guys, I am obsessed with this. This actually looks like I have red nail polish on. It looks stunning and would I recommend this hack? Definitely a yes. This is a perfect way to get rid of all your matte lipsticks that you're never gonna use. So this is what the next nail hack looks like. I have a weird feeling about this one because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be comfortable with having fuzzy fibers on my nails but let's see how this goes so i'm gonna take a pipe cleaner and i'll cut off all the tiny fibers around it once i'm done with that i'll apply a bright orange nail polish on my nails i really think you should match the color of your nail polish to the color of the pipe cleaner while the nail polish is still wet, I'm going to dip it in the bowl of fuzzy fibers that I just cut. So this is the difference between watching a 5 minute crafts video and actually doing this in real life. My nails look really weird, so I'm going to have to fix this. So I did have to add a few fibers here and there and I had to trim off the edges. So I don't think it was worth all the effort. Maybe I would try this out for Halloween or some kind of occasion. But would I recommend this to you in real life? No. I don't think it's worth the effort. It looks a little weird. It feels very funny. Like I have fuzzy nails right now. It's really weird. So this is the last nail hack that I'm going to try today. works so in order to do this I'll need a dental floss I also had to paint my nail and make sure that it is completely dried off so I did paint my nail a while ago and as you guys can see it is completely dry so what I'll have to do first is hold one end of the dental floss right under the nail with my index finger and then I'm gonna slowly wrap the floss around my nail once I'm done wrapping the floss all the way to the tip, I'm going to hold the end of the dental floss right under my nail again really tightly. Now I'm going to paint my nail with this blue nail polish. Before you remove the dental floss, make sure your nail polish has been completely dried off. Uh oh, I already see a few flaws right here and I already have a bad feeling about this. So I will finish this off with a coat of clear nail polish and as you guys can see it does look very uneven and I have tried my best to hold the floss very tightly even the nail polish was completely dried off before I removed the floss but this is the best that I could get and would I recommend this hack to you guys? No, I don't think this is worth it. It just looks very uneven and it looks very childish. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I actually loved it. It was so much fun shooting this. And if you guys do have any more hacks like this that you would want me to try, do let me know in the comment section below. I would love to shoot that for you. And thank you so much for watching this video. You'll see me very soon. Bye. I think about you all the time now. I guess I never feel the same. And I'm always waiting for your call, but